Hello. Oh, I'm going to have a swig of brew. So, I put up a request last night in the group looking for um, ideas to do videos with. And this is what we came up with. Uh, the overwhelm I was going to say the overwhelming majority. Three people voted that I do a video about uh, exploring stand-up techniques and uh, some of my more stand-up ideas. So, that's what I'm going to do a video on. So, we're going to look at a little bit of that today. This is stuff I've never used before. So um, I have no idea about whether it would die on its backside or whether it will work and storm the place. So um, yeah, so let's, let's have a look and see what we can do with this. So hang on a sec while I just swig my brew very unprofessionally. Mm. So um, this is a bit I found in my Evernote folder, which is a um, God, it's just full of ideas, full of ideas. You know, I've, I've talked before about having somewhere to capture ideas and Evernote is my, uh, is my notepad. So there's loads of stuff in there. So this is a bit about CSI. That's all it is. Now, uh, ignore the S's and uh, things down the column, the P, the T. They're, for, they're basically set up to tell me what's a setup, what's a punchline and what's a tag. Um, Setup is obviously the premise. It's not funny. The punchline is the funny bit and then the tagline is, is normally something that goes on the back of the punchline uh, To get another laugh. It's, it's tagged onto the joke um, and, and You'll see as you go in him So ignore that for now uh, and also ignore the fact that uh, I don't really follow the rules of uh, the funny business thing about attitude premise uh, putting it together act out and mix so ignore that for now um, but you, you'll, you'll kind of see the premises. So this is the premise um, of the entire routine. It's based around the fact that I love watching uh, CSI type shows. Uh, so I watch the American shows too. It amazes me that any murder is ever solved in America with forensic evidence. For the American CSI every day appears to be non-uniform day. They come in wearing t-shirts, hair flowing down, full makeup on. I think I could do a bit more with that. Uh, and then the punchline is me miming entering a crime scene in a really exaggerated manner. You know, wiping my hair, putting my hands down my pants, itching, picking my nose, flicking it, wiping it on a wall, <laughs> rubbing my crotch against things. These are the ways that, that people enter the room, obviously. Um, and then the tagline to that is somebody getting evidence after I've been in the room going, what the hell is going on here? Um, and then we go to another setup, which is no, as long as the Americans have some gloves on, that's fine. That seems to me um, the basic idea. Americans can walk into a, uh, this is the premise essentially, you know, you watch CSI and Americans just walk into a crime scene. As long as you've got your gloves on, that's fine. So you've got gloves and some yellow and black tape to put around the crime scene. That's enough. And then we do the tagline is uh, punchline of there's a tornado on the way, but we've taped it off. We'll be fine. It's like it's just some kind of, the tape just heals everything. No matter what you throw at it, the tape will protect us. Uh, and then I do the setup, which is uh, talking about the UK crime scene. It's the standard drop contact lens drill. And then I'm going to act out the idea of somebody, you know, imagine at a party, you drop something, arms outstretched, bent over, stop, stop, nobody move. Don't breathe, don't move a muscle. I kind of don't touch anything kind of thing. Um, and then the setup for the next bit is more a comparison between those two. So in America, they just come in with gloves, put some tape, they're fine. In the UK, we, our approach must look like we have no idea what we're doing. You know, we put tarpaulings over everything, houses, trees, gardens, you name it. You know, if it's there, we've got that baby covered in canvas. We even cover the people. You've seen them go into crime scenes in the flattering one piece, boil in the bag suit with mask. Looks like a bad episode of Star Trek. Again, I think that could take some work. And then the end of the bit is, I think that there could be more with this, but at the moment I've got, you've got many suits going, I only came in to drop a better wear catalog. So the point is no matter what moves, they've got it covered with uh, that flattering boil in the bag outfit. So let's have a look at this then. I, I think the premises I've got in it are okay. Um, the one thing that does concern me about them is whether they've been done to death, death because CSI is a very old show now. You know, you've had, you, they're probably, with the variations they've had of it, they're probably up to, you know, CSI Carlisle now. So 
Um, but I like the idea of, uh, of the disparity between the American approach of crime scene investigation and the UK approach that we see on the news. I think there's something in that. And again, it comes from a truth, uh, truthful premise, you know, in, in the group we talk about, you know, what's weird is the fact that for the American CSI, every day is non-uniform day. They come in wearing all this kind of stuff and there's, as long as you've got gloves on, that's fine. And, you know, and it's, it's stupid that in the UK, we have to wear everything. We have to cover everything up. We've got people shaving each other just to make sure they don't drop it. In fact, that would be a good line to go in somewhere. Oh, that's quite good. We're shaving each other. Um, it's like we have no idea what we're doing. We put up Paulins. Uh, I'm just going to put a note there for shaving, which I'll forget immediately. But, you know, um, I think there's something in that. We cover everything, we shave it, we're so frightened that we'll do something wrong. We've got that baby covered in canvas. So I think maybe the shaving thing um, could go down, we've got that baby covered with canvas. It would be a good kind of punchline or a tag to that. Cover the people seeing those crime scenes. So let's, let's work through this again. So yeah, I like the premise of the fact that the American CSI just turns up, does this. Uh, similarly with tape, where they just put tape across the door, that's fine, you know? <laughs> we put all our valuables in sealed boxes, bury them in the ocean, but you know what, for a murder scene, just a bit of tape, that will be enough. It's like, it's like an honor system. In fact, I think there's probably something in that as well. Honor system, please don't go in and wreck our crime scene. Let's put that in block capital so I know it's a note. Um, I think there could be something in that for the honor system. Uh, that's enough. Is that needed? Maybe if I was acting that out, um, following the rule of don't tell me, show me. If, if I'm talking this out loud and, and I've gone from the what the hell was going on here bit, because they know as long as the Americans have some gloves on, that's fine. Gloves and some yellow and black tape to put around the crime scene. That's enough. That's all they need. So I might rephrase that to something else. Uh, and again, this comes from uh, doing a kind of act out. So, uh, you know, you, you've got to read this stuff out loud. Even if your jokes are going to be written on a piece of paper, they're going to be read out loud in the head of the audience. So even though this is nothing to do with the business stuff, you've still got to bear this in mind. You've got to read it out loud. You've got to see how it sounds. Does it have a good rhythm? Does it make sense? Does it sound right? If it doesn't, change it. And if it's not the kind of word that you would use, change it. So there's a tornado on the way, but as long as we'll have the tape, it'll be fine. So this is a good example of the mix kind of thing. It's, um, um, you're throwing something at it. So you, you've done the punchline of, uh, we, we, the system of having tape around a crime scene isn't enough, it's a joke. Okay, you, for something that pressure, you'd want something better in place. So then we could throw a mix at it, like there's a tornado on the way, but as long as we've got the tape, that'll be fine. We're just extending the idea further. But we could throw another mix in there and say, um, can you imagine what their homes are like to break into? And you could do an act out then. So there could be a mix in there of these crime systems, you know, these crime guys have got to be the easiest people to burgle from. If they think a piece of tape is enough to se secure a murder scene, can you imagine how poorly guarded their homes are? You know, you can break in with some scissors and so on, blah, blah, blah. You could do a mix out of that. Uh, and I may do that. There could be, I'm going to leave a note for that myself there to do mix. Because I think there's, there could be something in there with that. And then we go into the UK crime scene. Uh, and I like the bit about, um, I like the disparity about the fact that, that compared to the Americans, we look like we have no idea what we're doing. And I like the drop contact, the drop contact lens drill. Because I think everybody, even if you don't wear contact lens, um, has, can appreciate that. You drop something, stop! Nobody move, don't breathe, don't move a muscle, don't breathe. Um, I think that would make a really good, that, that bit, the nobody move arm spread would make a really good visual on stage. Uh, really heightens the point, and again, it comes down to showing them, not telling them. Don't touch anything. Gives you a chance to put on a voice, make it sound overly dramatic. And again, while you're doing this, people are appreciating that it's um, relating to a crime scene. We have no idea what we're doing. We put our pawlings over everything. 
Um, and again, there's a little too much saying in this. Um, I could act out putting tarpaulins over everything. Um, but I kind of like the efficiency of the words here. Um, I edited this quite a lot. So it's like we have no idea what we're doing. We put tarpaulins over everything. Houses, trees, God. See, I think the third one there could be a comedy triple there. Houses, trees, pets. Maybe pets. I don't know. Pets. You name it. We've got that baby covered with canvas. I like that. I like that bit there. We've got that baby covered with canvas. Um, I just like the phrasing of that. We even cover the people. Again, that's just an extension of the, uh, we put our pawns over everything. We, uh, I might need to specify the crime people. I'll put a note there to specify that. Because you've really got to be clear, we cover the people. Somebody may listen to that and think, I mean, the murder victim or you know somebody else but you so i really need to be clear with this so i'm going to put uh csi peeps because i'm down with the kids so i need to phrase how that's going to work we even cover the investigators we even cover the people mm. so you've seen them going to the crime scene and, and again i've put uh m i've put that because that's how i'm going to say it you've seen them going to crime scenes You've seen them going into crime scenes. So I really write it down how I'm gonna say it because the flow of it all will will um, dictate how it how it's read and how it gets appreciated. So if you say them, put them in there. And if you say them, put them in there. So even though it's the same syllable count and it doesn't really alter anything, it's just important to get it right exactly how you're gonna say it because them and um is a different thing. Um, it sounds picky, but when you're up on stage, things either feel right or they don't. And it'll be the same with the jokes you create. Uh, in the flattering one-piece bull in the bag suit with mask. I think there could be a pause there. And I think there could be a reason. Um, I think that could be a separate line. And I think... I think I could make an explanation of the mask, like, um, this isn't going to be the joke, but just to give you a sense of it. So, in the flattering one piece, boil in the bag suit, with mask, just in case anybody breathes your garlic on there, or just in case anybody happens to sneeze all over a corpse, or I think there's something funny there that we could play on the word mask. Um, so, it could either be a gag on how my morning breath is going to rot the corpse, or it could be something that because I don't want to get, I don't know, I don't know. But I think, I think there's something there. And again, putting it into different lines affects the rhythm of it. So it looks like an episode of Star Trek. I could maybe ditch that line. I could maybe ditch it. I don't think, I don't think it's, it's necessarily funny enough to include. Um... I could put like a bad episode of Star Trek or a cheap version of, it looks like a high school version of Star Trek. Um, maybe Star Trek's not the right one. No idea. Um, I could maybe ditch that. That needs work. Um, and the flattering one piece, boil in the bag suit with mask, just in case they blah, blah, blah. And then I could just go straight to this bit. You've got many suits going, I only came off to drop a better white catalog. Or you've got a man in a suit. So I think the end punchline could do with work. Um, I only bent down to tie my shoelace. I was just passing. I think the idea that just really highlights the fact that we cover everything in tarpaulins. Um, <clears throat> I thought the, 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 just the name of Betterware catalog would be quite funny, but reading it back now, I don't know. Tupperware may be better. Oh, now, you, now you get into the thing about thinking about what words are funny and which aren't. So that's the bit I've been working on. I think there's some mileage in this. Um, I think CSI as a concept and crime shows is something that is still, even though it's quite a dated reference, um, and I could remove things like reference to specific shows, even though I mentioned CSI, I could change that to, you know, crime investigator every day appears to be on uniform day. Um, 
So I think this is pretty standard. The American investigators never wear anything close to what the UK guys do. So it, it's still a relevant uh, premise. So you can see we've got the premises. Every day is non uniform day. Um, gloves is fine. Gloves and yellow black tape is fine. Um, then we've got the disparity between, uh, disparity between that and the UK thing and how that's relevant compared to contact lens. Um, and the premise is, you know, only people who have no idea what they're doing would approach a crime scene like this. Or maybe it's only people who actually do know what they're doing would approach a crime scene like this. Um, we cover the people and yeah, we just cover everything. So there's a few premises in there that I think will work. And I think, like I say, even though they're quite dated, the reference to the CSI, I, th I think there's, there's potential in there for something. There's, there's lots of act out uh, bits where I'm showing people what it would be like and I'm not just telling them. Um, I think it could do with a bit of editing and maybe I'll do that on another video, but you know, shaving, I think that would, that's a great example of a, uh, an act out. You know, you've got to talk these things out. I've never thought adding a shaving bit into this, but that is exactly what you'd do. You know, it's, uh, you're so paranoid about, uh, if you're covering everything with canvas because you're so worried about getting something wrong, you would shave yourself going in there. You would, you, you know, you, you remove all doubt that one of your hairs could, you know, ruin the crime scene. You've got to talk these things out. Um, so yeah, I think I think that could be a workable bit. Um, it's not offensive. It could go pretty much anywhere. I think anybody could appreciate that. Um, still mileage to get out of it. Um, I think the honor system could be quite good as well. And there could be another mix in there about people who use tape to secure crime scenes. Imagine if they would blah, blah, blah. Um, but I think there's a bit more out of there. I think there's a bit more out of there. And hopefully you can see how the premises lead to the, uh, you know, the truth lead to the attitude. And you add those two together, get a premise, and then you go into the act out of just creating the premise and then building it up to something a little bit more ridiculous. But it all comes down to the truth. It all comes down to uh, the idea about CSIs wearing gloves and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'll leave that there today. Um, and hopefully you found that useful. What I'll have to do is book a gig in so I can actually try this stuff out and hold myself accountable. Um, what I should say as well is if any jokes came to you while I was doing this, please let me know. I'm not a proud man. <laughs> Anything to prevent me dying a horrible death on stage, which as um, Steve Martin points out, is worse than real death. Oh, it's so worse. Um, if you've spotted any gags or any potential or anything like that, let me know and uh, we can work through it and things because half of this is just talking it out. Uh, but I hope you found that useful. If you did, let me know because I'm very aware that I have no idea what I'm doing in this group. So um, feel free to uh, yell at me and tell me what's useful and what isn't useful. But I will leave it there. I'm going to have my coffee and uh, have a good day.